Namaste, it's Leanne Carey and Jules Mitchell from Leanne Carey Yoga and Rana from Palos Verdes, California asked us to cover some things in Trikonasana. The thing that I've decided to cover today, Rana, is how you might uh, work yourself better into the pose with your teacher if you were really stiff in the hips. So Jules is going to come onto the mat. That's not who she is, actually she has a lot more movement than this, but let's just pretend that you're working with someone that comes to the pose and the hips don't move, the top thigh just stays where it is, and as a result, they just can't really go anywhere and it just becomes kind of this funky side bend. Additionally, what happens is the lower back starts rounding this way and sliding to the side, which is not really very good. So what you would do with your student is just have them hold onto your shoulder and you put your weight on their shoulder. You would stand on either side of their front foot, take your strong foot and press into the very top of the thigh, right where it hits that crease, and push in and back slightly. And then I'll ask her to take her own top thigh and try to sort of suck it up into the joint. Yes, as soon as she does that, I feel herself get into a deeper crease. Now the problem is that if I go to take her all the way down, right, bring her hand down, she's going to lose this work and the lower back is going to start to curve again. So we're just going to let her stay here. She can bring her left arm up to the sky if she wants, or she can keep it at her hip, or it doesn't really matter. This is the work that we're trying to get her to learn. And so maybe five, six, seven, eight breaths, and then we come out as she's still working that top leg all the way up, and then I just bring her back to neutral position. So a wonderful way to get your students to understand the work in the pelvis and the hips and trikonasana. Let us know how it goes, and thanks for posting. Namaste.